Hey everyone, my name is Luke with the Sutro Success Team, and if you ever called in with questions about the device, you've probably talked to me once or twice. Um, today, I've gotten a pool, so I had my team send me a Sutro, and I'm going to set it up here on camera with you guys. So first things first, let's make sure that we have the Sutro application downloaded on our phone, and then we want to go ahead and log in. Um, when you log in, you should be met with a device or a screen that says, Welcome to Sutro, set up the device. So we'll click on set up device and it's going to say to plug the hub in and take our charging battery out. So this was charging all night, just took it out of the hub and it says to confirm if we see the white blinking light. Now on the front end of my hub, as you can see, it is blinking white. So I'm going to click, I see the white blinking light. Step two says to connect our Sutro hub to the Sutro network. So it wants us to go into our Wi-Fi settings and connect to that network. So we'll click on open settings and navigate to our Wi-Fi. And here in our Wi-Fi, we should see a Sutro network. Mine says Sutro underscore 011 D3. So we'll click on that. And as soon as it gets that little check mark right there, then we'll give it a few seconds to make sure everything stays connected and switch back over to the Sutro application. So let's do that. And on step three, it's gonna ask us to connect to our home Wi-Fi. So here we want to select a network. Um, for whatever reason, if you don't see your network, there is a little button to enter it manually as well. Um, we won't need to use that today though. So next up, we'll enter our password and click on connect. Um, usually this takes about 30 to 45 seconds for everything to go through. So we'll give it just a second here and we'll get it connected. And you'll notice when it connects that this white light will stop blinking. So we'll give it a few seconds here. Okay, it looks like it just connected. We give the app a second to set up. Okay, successfully connected to your home Wi-Fi. Step four, it says to connect the hub and monitor. So we want to open the lid of the device and turn it around to the battery side. And it says to put the battery into the monitor. We'll hear it click and we give it a second to initialize. We should see a blue light once everything's good to go. And then it says to open the lid on our hub as well. So what we're gonna do here is we got the hub and the monitor. Oh, we're gonna press and hold both buttons at the same time for about four seconds. They should both flash blue and turn solid blue when they're connected to each other. So sorry for that mix up, they're both solid blue. Now in the application, it's gonna take us to step five. It says step five, finishing up. This is to take the cartridge out of its box. I already have. Um, on the front end, you're gonna see a sticker that says to remove before installation. Please do that. Um, that way the cartridge can read properly. Next up, we'll turn the Sutro around and we're gonna pop the cartridge in here really quick. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then it says to go ahead and close the device up until you hear it click. Okay, so it's nice and closed up. Let's go ahead and it says finishing up. So now it's gonna take just a moment here and skip us forward. Okay, it says to place the second battery in the hub to charge. So we'll go ahead and do that. Close it up. Great job, you've done the hard part. Now let's walk through your pool and spa details while we calibrate your Sutro monitor. So we'll click done, and I got a pool. So we'll click save. It's gonna ask us about our um, pool profile. It looks like mine had been previously set up, so we're gonna mess with this. It's actually 13,500, we'll save that. And then it's gonna take us to a checklist. It says, give us a minute, we're checking your device. So it says my battery's good to go. The lid of the device is closed and secured properly in the device. Now we're just waiting on the cartridge check. Okay, it looks like it went through. 
Now we're on a screen that says, please ensure that your device is in the water before proceeding. So we're gonna go ahead and put the device in the water and then we'll come back after that and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I just put it in the water and I clicked on my device is in the water. So now that everything's down, it should say generating pool readings for about an hour and a half and we'll receive some readings here shortly. So thank you for sitting through this with me. After about an hour and a half, you should see your first readout and then about eight hours later, we'll get another test. So I hope you guys have a great day and thanks for hanging out. All right, bye-bye.